found something very interesting about uh, the Idaho Four Murders guys, and um, especially after the affidavit was released, I've been posting content on my opinion, uh, most based on facts, some based on my knowledge, some based on my professional uh, qualifications, and guess what I'm finding out? My videos are not getting views like they should. They're getting the views, the clicks, but they're not people are not staying on my videos. Why is that? Are you annoyed with my the way I talk? Are you annoyed with my accent? Are you annoyed with my content? No comments, some likes, but no staying and listening to my content. Well this is what I will say to you. My content has got some intelligence in it. Yeah? And I don't talk bullshit, right? Yeah, this pick my opinion. No, I don't, I'm not a detective. I've got no background of detective. But, but, I have got something that I trust in myself, yeah? I can tell common sense and non-common sense, okay? I can tell what doesn't make sense it didn't happen, right? And that's my title. If you want to find out more about what I think about what happened and why Brian Kochberg could be innocent, don't jump too ahead of yourself calling me crazy and all that. I have got valid reasons supported by experts to believe my theory. I believe Brian Kochberg is innocent. Although prior to the affidavit I was over ninety percent, over a hundred percent sure that the detectives got the right person and then when I read it and then I read it again and I started to dissect it and I started to look each timeline, each this and that and cross referencing and the way the affidavit was written and the discrepancies from the original statements, I started to think, whoa, 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 let's have a dig into this. Right? You never know. You might find all the questions you're asking yourself about the affidavit. What is there so beefy about them? Why does that raise more questions? And where are the answers? You might find they are in my content about the case, especially after the affidavit was disclosed. You might well find your answers in my content. And it might start making, you might start thinking, oh, now we make some sense, right? Because I have had enough of listening to live streams, so-called true crime channels, talking utter bullshit. And you know what? This is how I'm going to put it to you. This is how I'm going to put it. No matter how ridiculous, crazy I might sound to you, or believe in what I'm going to say, yeah? Some theories is utter bullshit. And if you're going to look at a picture and tell me, oh, he looks like a murderer, he is the murderer. And if you're going to look and listen to previous people who've known him from 15, 30, 20 years ago, and based on events that happened or didn't happen and guesses from people who were once his best friends and you're going to conclude he is a weirdo, he is a creep, 
is a stalker. He killed him. He's a murderer. He, yeah, oh my god, look at me. He, oh my god, he's scared. Oh my god, he's eyes. Oh my god, I wipe out the bushy eyebrows. Hmm. Well, I guarantee if you get out there, you know, you're gonna get this, the hell scared because every other fourth man's got a bushy eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to be cynic about that. Okay. Oh! Do you know what? There are, there are women with bushy eyebrows as well and beards. <laughs> and let me close this. And I would love to close this recording with one amazing conclusion. We all use gloves to clean toilets. We all use gloves to wash dishes. We all use gloves to wash bins. We all use gloves to clean the house. And we all dispose rubbish in a dustbin. When my dustbin is full, especially my recycling dustbin, guess where my rubbish goes? At nine o'clock in the morning, three o'clock, four o'clock a.m., on the Thursday, rubbish is collected early hours, 7, 8 a.m., 10. Uh, we get out and we dump. If there is a room in the neighbour bin, we stick in there and pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> have a good day. Well, have a good day. Because I'm in United Kingdom. And it's a day. And it's a morning, it's about 10 o'clock, it's a lovely sunny day, and what I would say now is, whatever you are, enjoy your day, night, your moment, hug your loved ones, God bless, thanks for listening, stay tuned, bye for now.